When an analytics chief recently looked across his company's tech stack, he noticed something quite interesting. Every tool, vendor, or platform they use now has their own AI agent. Slack has one, Snowflake has one, Google Workspace has one. Even other software companies that weren't competing in the AI space before are now all fighting for the exact same slice of attention from customers. So what does this mean for a company like Salesforce, which with their own AI tool agent force doesn't necessarily stand up from the rest? This is a story that we've seen constantly across 2024 and 2025. Every enterprise software company is building near identical agents that act as an assistant who comb through data, forecast sales, triage IT tickets, analyze customer messages, or even write code for you. This has resulted in an explosion of choice and a lot of overlap that's left many buyers frozen in place. It's also created a surprisingly tricky situation for Salesforce as well. Agent Force has been coined as the defining product of the enterprise AI era, but the reality is that the CRM giant is battling competitors on all sides. So for Salesforce, this has become more than just a competitive battle with familiar foes. It's a story about what happens when everyone looks the same and whether Salesforce's long-held advantage with customer data is strong enough to cut through the noise. Think back to this time one year ago. The newly introduced concept of an AI agent inside enterprise software was exciting, even if it did raise concerns around security and performance. But it's safe to say that the space has become overwhelming just as quickly. However, it's actually quite easy to understand the state of the market at the moment with this grid that was originally put together by the information. It shows exactly what buyers have been feeling for a while now. Nearly every major enterprise software company offers agents across multiple business functions, and most of them overlap in several areas. As you can see, Microsoft, Google, IPM, SAP, and Salesforce light up almost every category, from customer support to sales, finance, enterprise search, and coding agents. Companies that once stayed in their own lanes have had those barriers flattened by AI overnight. Even traditionally specialized companies like ServiceNow, Databricks, Confluent, and NVIDIA are adding AI to their offerings, while AI-native players like OpenAI and Anthropic cover the whole landscape. This crowded market is causing enterprises to pause decision-making because the landscape is incoherent. This pause-until-clarity approach exacerbates Salesforce's adoption issues, as uncertainty around pricing, ROI, and setup, combined with many similar competitors, fuels hesitation. While Salesforce may be facing continuous challenges in the agent market, it has a key structural advantage over many of its competitors, the huge amount of data it looks after. Salesforce customers source years or even decades of deeply structured information in Sales Cloud, Service Cloud, Marketing Cloud, and Data360, the newest version of Data Cloud. This is exactly what a typical AI agent needs to perform high value tasks, and it's notoriously difficult to move between systems. This is what gives Salesforce the edge. Sticky software can win again. If we zoom out for a minute, it becomes clear that slow agent adoption is more of an enterprise problem than a Salesforce problem. While startups can roll out agents practically overnight, Fortune 500 companies move at a much slower rate. They want to run pilots, hold workshops, and need extensive help to clean their data and connect their systems. And often, they probably won't buy until their peers do first. So yes, agent force adoption is slower than hopes. But that's true for the whole tech ecosystem, not just AgentForce. Salesforce's future is tied to the AgentForce narrative, a key growth pillar. This creates pressure for quick, visible wins, especially as we enter Q3. Investors need proof that these agents are delivering real value beyond Dreamforce demos, and the pressure is on for the cloud giant. That's why adoption matters, not because AgentForce is struggling behind the scenes, but because the market needs more evidence, more stories, and more clarity. If Salesforce can tighten the narrative, simplify adoption, and double down on the data advantage, it has everything it needs to win. Not because it has the flashiest agent demos, but because it has the deepest, richest, most valuable data foundation in the enterprise. In the end, that's what will matter most amidst this broad competitive space. The agent enterprise market is chaotic, crowded, and in many ways, very confusing. Buyers are paralyzed and competitors are gaining early attention. So the pressure is on Salesforce more than ever to prove AgentForce is more than just a collection of demos. However, the long-term advantages are very much on Salesforce's side. They have the data, the distribution, and the ecosystem. So will Salesforce play on its strengths and take the lead in the AI race? Only time will tell.